Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today we have another viewer-suggested video. We have the Battle of Agincourt. So, today we have around 10,000 Englishmen going up against over double their number of Frenchmen. So, the numbers aren't accurate, and this isn't an accurate representation of the Battle of Agincourt in any way, shape, or form, but I thought it'd be a fun scenario to do, so that's exactly what we shall. So the French have a few thousand cavalry along with about, I think about 15,000 uh, footmen and then a big old chunk of medieval knights. Then on the English side I believe we have around maybe 3,000 uh, footmen, 1,000 knights and then around 6,000 archers. So of course, let me know if you've got any more ideas for future suggestions. Uh, you seem to really like the historical one, which I thought was quite fun. Uh, so if you've got any ideas for other historical battles, I did see um, the Norman invasion suggestion as well. So that's one I might consider as well between the Anglo-Saxons and the Normans. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying the content. If you are, make sure to let me know in the comments. And if you feel like supporting the channel, leave a like. It's always very much appreciated. So here we go. Cavalry is going to go charging in. However, against 6,000 arrows... It's going to be interesting to see how many can actually survive the initial charge. And they're taking down probably quite a lot of... Oh dear. They're killing quite a lot of the footmen really easily. So I might have to change this scenario around a little bit. Because it looks like the English, unlike on the day, are going to get absolutely slaughtered. So over here, they're not taking a whole lot of damage. Wow. Wow. I was actually thinking it was going to be a bit of a slaughter for the cab, and it looks like it is a smidge, but they're holding pretty well. So let's try and get a bird's eye view of the scenario so far. Do the old cinematic cam. Take the old little screeny. And something that I didn't realise was there's a bit of a disruption in their formation here. However, that shouldn't be too much of a burden. And it looks like now that the archers are starting to absolutely slaughter the cavalry. And we now have the footmen going up against the footmen. So they're almost through to the knights. What they needed was Chuck Norris. But I can never put Chuck Norris in a scenario because he can't be killed. I, I may, you know, Maybe if I could edit him a little bit, that might make a bit more sense. Uh, but, yeah, for now, he cannot be killed, just wounded. <laughs> okay, so it looks like here, they're not taking any kind of attack at the moment whatsoever. I'm not going to commit them into combat yet, but they're almost through this line. But let's just see from the soldier's point of view... They're taking... If you stand... There we go, yeah, so... You can die pretty easily as a footman. Footman. A footman. And it looks like the archers are now starting to get a heck of a lot of kills. They are the reason which I think we're still actually in this. Uh, but as they're getting through... They still need to get through the knights here. So they might make it through the first rank, but then we have their elite troops coming through now as well so it's definitely not a sure thing for the English but I try to make it a bit I try to make it as fair as I could uh, so the French do have a vast amount more heavy infantry than the English do in this scenario and it might be time to just possess briefly and reinforce the line a little bit And I will let them do whatever they feel like doing now. So we sent them into battle. But, okay, this is going to be an absolute slaughter. So with 6,000 archers might have been a bit OP. Uh, it didn't actually look it from the start of the scenario. But now they have a clear firing arc. It doesn't look like these knights are able to get anywhere near. Yeah, you can see they're going down as quickly 
as they're running towards the arrows. So it's not looking good for the French. So this is actually kind of going the way of the history books. The English archers are going to win at Agincourt. Oh my god, yeah, because there's more archers now than there are enemies remaining. And I tried to actually stick it in a bit of a, uh, a muddy ground area of the map as well, so we can kind of see that. But just the way every single arrow is individually rendered is just freaking amazing. Like, that is one aspect of the game that I really like, just being able to see 6,000 arrows just plow into them. Oh! No, they're not even... I don't even think... They, they can make it. It might be an idea to maybe put like an arrow limit uh, or something like that in maybe future updates. Could suggest that to Robert if I speak to him. But it looks like... Oh! My soldiers went ended up going on a quest. Huh. Well, I was not expecting the units that I'd ordered to start charging in. But that's... That doesn't matter to me. It's, it's all going to help. Looks like they've probably killed that band of footmen, though. But the, the archers are, have done an absolutely fantastic job. Firing far quicker than I ever could. And the remaining 500 knights are going to do a bit of a suicide run. Oh my gosh. Okay, the remaining 200 are still trying to do a suicide run. And it's really not working out for them. So it looks like the English will triumph over the French here today at Agincourt. They were slightly hampered by the hill. I was not expecting that. Well, there we go. 30 remain. I don't know where the remaining 15 are. Are they somehow in the terrain? Oh, no. I think that might be a bit of a glitch. Four remaining. Oh, well, he's dead. Just one remains. And I don't know where he is. He might be stuck on the map somewhere. So, there we have it. The English won at Agincourt. Congratulations. And that's scenario. We're <laughs> technically team two. Who won? Who? But no, the English would have won. But I just like how they just get flattened. Uh, but let's try and do another little scenario while we're here. So who would win... In this scenario, 10,000 Spartans going to go up against 250 fully automatic World War II soldiers. Without further ado, let us see if the Spartans can somehow survive automatic machine gun fire. At the moment, no. No, they cannot. Oh my god. Looks like some of them are breaking through, though. Almost. They're getting closer than the Frenchman did at Agincourt. But... <laughs> I imagine this is going to be a slaughter of Spartans. Okay, yeah, they're not even... They're just getting pushed further and further back. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, it's very unlikely a Spartan's even going to get to me, if, even if I keep pushing up. Oh, bollocks. Oh, there we go. Yeah, with 2,000 of them remaining. They are dying before they can get to me. Oh, wow. Just 
just seeing as they try and run up the hill, they're just getting absolutely cream crackered. Oh, well, no, there you go, they killed one. Well, there we have it. Spartans just get absolutely slaughtered by fully automatic machine gun fire. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? I have one more scenario to try, and if you bear with me, I think that it's just more of an experiment than anything else. So let's plop. We're going to have the hero unit of Chuck Norris, and I'm just going to see if he can survive a nuke. I'm not even sure Chuck Norris could survive a nuke. So where is he? Chuck Norris? If I can actually spot him, where is he? Chuck? Where for are thou, Chuck? I have no idea where he's gone. I'll be right back. The day has come, Chuck Norris, for you to die. Oh my god. That can't be. How the heck is Chuck surviving nukes? How many nukes does he take to kill him? He can't have survived that. Has he gone? Do he bleeds. How many? How much HP did he lose? Oh my giddy aunt! Would you? Damn it, Chuck! He's in, he's unstoppable. That man is unstoppable. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Norris can never be defeated. So until next time, everyone, leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Leave the video with a like if you've enjoyed it, and until next time, I bid you a very, very good day.